going to go on the Luminescent Bay tour and here we are in La Parquera and uh, first we are going to have, find uh, some place to eat dinner which should be uh, a, little, a little difficult for our, our group here tonight but uh, here is La Parquera. Last time Lisa and I were here was uh, not on a Friday night wasn't as happening as this but there's uh, certainly a uh, few places open We can find some place to eat that satisfies everybody in the group today. We're choosing East La Cueva beer and burger bar. Excellent. So let's take a little tour here of La Parquera. Woo! This is the La Parquera rooftop. We just went up there and walked. There wasn't uh, there weren't drinks up here before. That looks that looks interesting. Good. And we got the G spot here, frozen G spot. Yum. Holy heck! We gotta come back here again. Frozen the margaritas. There's the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of pool here in this place. Paradise Scuba and Snorkeling Center. Uh, we use them. I think our tour will be right through here later on this evening. Now, uh, this guy's selling some conch shells. Uh, I'm gonna come back here. Black glass bottom boats. Day tours by Luminescent Bay, like through here. Okay, we're gonna walk through the pizza place in the back side of it. Oh, it's actually a little mall. Who knew? Wow, there's much more here than we ever experienced because we were never here on a on a weekend. Pizza place. So here's the parking. Here's the real parking. Okay. So I know this uh, for next time. Find real parking here. And uh, more up the street. Pizza place. All right. So that gives you a little feel for. La Parque right here. Here's the place. Obviously, some place we have to come back to on, uh, on a weekend. Up a few flights of stairs. Wow, oh, que bueno. Super nice. So looking down on the little plaza here. Say the genius of Johnny Boats. Johnny's Boats.
Heading on to the Moye, the pier, the dock. Okay. There's this boat from what my memory, what I remember. The smallest, the oldest, and the cheapest. And the best. I'm sure it's the best. We were with you before. I know. It's the we best. Our whole family. It's the best captain. Yes. <laughs> so much competition now. There's 30 boats doing it. Oh, I'm man. I you again. You liked your little boat. <laughs> That's okay. No problem. And off we go. We're gonna go for half an almost half an hour to miles east. Okay. Very flat today, so I think. Oh, it's good. Right. Some of that houses here right along uh, La Parquera. Obviously, these people take uh, hits in hurricanes. Supposedly they've been grandfathered into being able to do this, i.e. Build, build houses right on the shoreline. But, uh, I don't know. You know, when, uh, when, everything, when everything's good, it's beautiful. But when things are bad, it must be really bad here. Okay, my friends, we're gonna go into the bay now. Uh, you have been here before, right? I have, no, no one else. No, no, no. We have. Oh, you have, okay, yeah. But okay. it's been 1994. Oh, okay. Okay, here you are. I can tell you the story. <laughs> so the reason why we have this organism here is because it's very shallow where we are. Right here it's like 4 feet deep. Okay. But inside the bay it's 15 feet. Okay? So the waves, the currents, the tides push these organisms in. They're microscopic, they're planktonic. So they, they, they are carried by waves and, and currents and wind. So they, they're being pushed in and they get trapped inside. They're so deep. Mm -hmm. So the circulation is such that it's easier for them to go in and come out. So they, they, they accumulate inside and there's many, millions and millions of cells. So they find a lot of nutrients inside the bay and they thrive. And each one of these cells, there's a chemical reaction within the cell that gives off heat in the form of light. When they're stirred up, uh, there's an organelle that does the chemistry. It's a, it's a formation of an enzyme. So when, you, when, you, when they're stirred up, they do this chemistry and supposedly to protect themselves from being eaten. Most of the feeding in the ocean is at night. So ah. a little bit bigger larvae and other dinoflagellates also feed on them. So that's the theory. So it has, it, has, it has been super good the past months, but it went down a couple of, a couple of days ago. It went down a little bit. So you still see it, but it's not gonna be spectacular. It was the, the most beautiful I've seen in 50 years. Wow. Uh, week, two weeks ago. Wow. It changes, depends yeah. on the nutrients, depends on many things. So we're gonna go in and see what happens. I'm gonna turn the lights off. We can see it. After the visit to the bioluminescent bay. Well, we got back from our bioluminescent bay tour, and uh, wow, it was, uh, it was okay. I mean, I guess uh, from the last time we were here, it was like, just spectacular. So today was just, it was just okay. It wasn't bad. You certainly could see a lot of stuff. I went in swimming. I uh, took, tried to take some video, probably that's not going to come out so well, but uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's super cool to go in there and swim, swim with it and, and see it all, and uh, you know, all in all, it's a, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice uh, day, a nice evening here, and 
So until next time, may your suitcase always be messy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to ring the bell to be notified when we put out new videos. Hasta la vista!